Hi, welcome to the Culture Kitchen. Today we are doing a recipe from my culture. My mom grew up in Canton, Mississippi, and so collard greens and black eyed peas are a big deal in my family. Today I am going to do my variation of a recipe from the Russell Street Deli, which was a restaurant in Eastern Market in Detroit. So we start off by making sure we have a nice hot pot. I'm using a Dutch oven. I'm gonna give it a generous pour of olive oil. Swirl this around the pot a little bit. Once our oil is nice and hot, we're gonna add one chopped up yellow onion and about three or four ribs of celery. Give this a little twirl. Turn this down a little bit. We don't want them to burn. We just want them to get nice and translucent. Shouldn't take long, less than five minutes or so. And once you see your onions are a bit translucent, go ahead and add some carrots. I have about, about three or four carrots here. A red pepper. Now in Mississippi, they would put a ham hock in it, but my husband grew up in Germany and I like the Polish store. <laughs> he has introduced me to the Polish store. So instead of using a ham hock, I like to use smoked pork one. This is Polish, Polish ham. It's great. Gives it an extra smokiness. So give all that a good stir, but don't forget your garlic. So now we add some garlic. While that's cooking in the pot, we take the time to chop up our greens. What I like about using collard greens, I eat to treat my multiple sclerosis, and sulfur-rich foods are really good for conditions like mine. So I try to work in sulfur-rich foods as much as I can. And that's like Brussels sprouts, broccoli, um, collard greens, kale, all of those are full of sulfur and they're really great for autoimmune conditions and just overall great health. So we have our greens sitting over here and now we go back to our stew or our soup and we add our tomatoes. So we want two big cans of tomatoes. Tomatoes are also really great for prostate health. So you've got a guy in your life make some soup with chopped up tomatoes in it. It's great for his health. Next, we add our black eyed peas. I soak these overnight, but you can also use canned if that's easier or more convenient. This in. Next, we're gonna add just a splash of red wine vinegar. Or a couple of splashes. Now you have a choice. The Russell Street Deli version of this recipe calls for all of these spices. All right, so black molasses, thyme, paprika, chili powder, black pepper, all of that. So I'm gonna do that. But let's say you don't have all of these, but you do have Cajun seasoning. This stuff is great in a pinch. Just use Cajun seasoning. Also, just like mama, I don't measure anything. So I'm gonna put in a couple of bay leaves. Sprinkles of oregano, basil, chili powder, paprika. This one is smoked. Some thyme. A generous sprinkle of black pepper. The one thing I will measure. So let's go a nice little tablespoon of that. One more stir. And then our final ingredient. The collard greens go in last. I'll try to get those stems out. They tend to be a little tough. Mm -hmm. 
Put the top on, let it cook under medium to medium low heat, and cook it for about an hour or so, and there you have it. Black eyed peas and collard green soup a la cube from the Culture Kitchen.